Teresa. It's been a while. We haven't seen each other since the throne. But that doesn't seem like so long ago to me. Not when I keep hearing so much about you. Eleanor Hume, the traitor. What of the Corsair Scourge? Nothing to worry about. I've had my dose of Salatoma. Was it as bad as you remembered it? Brings you back to when you were an initiate, doesn't it? Why did you betray us, Eleanor? When the Abbey made you a patrolling inspector, they placed great responsibility upon you. Oscar should have been the one to take on that role. He had already been selected for it. But you wanted it so very badly, and that sweet, naive man that he is, he let you take it. I had no idea. Oscar had already been chosen? Yes, and after he passed on it, he was stationed on that dangerous island where he sustained that awful wound. And now, you accompany the monster that nearly killed him. I feel I have a right to some answers. My desire to save humanity has not changed. I have simply found a path different from the Abbey's. I don't find that answer acceptable. I didn't think that you would. I know very well that you offer no compromises when it comes to Oscar. You're right. I don't. Be sure to inform your new friends of that fact. In order for me to protect Oscar, I'm going to need you all to trust me. That's all I have to say to you. I understand. I heard that they used this island to hold exiled prisoners. Just looking at this place depresses me. I hate it here. We can't go carelessly wandering about. This place is dangerous. I know, I know. Still, from the looks of those ruins, there used to be one impressive civilization here. I can practically taste the hidden treasure. The punishment for tomb raiding is quite strict, you know. Think I'd be a pirate if I was afraid of the Abbey? I won't stop you from looking for loot. But if you get into trouble, don't expect us to save you. Got it? Aye aye, sir.
they were nothing. A foe worth killing. Power number two displayed at the throne. Hard to believe he had that hidden in him. Lord Melchior said that number one was full of untapped potential as well. If I have the talent to use it. Uh, Teresa, my lady, you seem angry. Me? At what? At me, for running away and joining Velvet. Oh, that? I was careless. An enemy stole a tool of mine. I'm merely frustrated at my own incompetence. A tool. I don't care what happens to me now. Not as long as I can save Oscar. I'm the one who hurt your precious brother. And you're asking for my help now? Yes, you hurt him. You scarred his face, and his honor, and his heart. Still holding a grudge then? Well, at least you won't be able to kill me in my sleep. 
with no Malakim. I'm an ordinary woman. How could I threaten the Lord of Calamity? I'm painfully aware of my own weakness. Good. Try to keep out of the way, then. Lady Teresa, Velvet isn't so different from you. She had a little brother, she... I know all about the Lord of Calamity, but none of that matters to me. As powerless as I am now, this is the only path for me. It's the only way I can save Oscar. Lady Teresa...
Malachim are just tools. What are you brooding over? I know! Velvet, Eleanor, or Teresa? You're not sure whose little brother you want to be, eh? In that case, I assure you I'm the kindest of the lot. The cruelest, most devious. That's not what's on my mind. There's something I need to say to Lady Teresa. Something you wish to say? Then speak, number two. That's just it. I'm not number two. I'm... I'm Lafayette. Lafayette? It's the name Velvet gave me. It's very important to me. Something can be important to you? Yes. I have feelings. You see, Malakim are not tools. Very well. I shall call you Lafayette from now on. Thank you, Lady Teresa. You're kinder than you look, my dear Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. You misunderstand. With so much at stake, I don't want to rock the boat. Velvet, tell me what you know about Teresa and Oscar. I want a clearer picture of what they can do. All right. Teresa and Oscar are... I can give you the lowdown on everything, Abby! Lady Teresa and Oscar are the best of the best, even among the Praetors. Some call them the Consuls. There are only around a hundred Praetors in the world, so we're talking very elite. Anyone called a Consul is going to be adept at both fighting and leadership. They are key figures entrusted with responsibility for major cities and institutions. The fighting part is all we have to worry about. Are they better than you, Eleanor? Yes. I was a Primus, which is a full rank below them. I could never overcome Teresa's arts or Oscar's swordsmanship in our practice battles. When they were still trainees, they worked together to wipe out dozens of demons in a single night! After that, Lord Melchior kept a close eye on them. Appreciated. I'll be on my guard. Together they sound like a real threat. Thankfully, we're only after Oscar alone. But Oscar has mastered a new art developed by Lord Melchior! You can count on it being a nasty one. You really do know a lot about this stuff. It's a little suspicious. You... you think so? Well, I was at the Abbey, so... Why don't you call him Lord Oscar? That's what's bothering you? It's because we're both so popular with the ladies. I consider him a rival.
It's a beetle. Yeah. Uh, a Lionel Giant Thunderstag beetle, to be exact. Why do they always have such awkward names? I... I think it's a cool name. <sighs> I've never been able to figure out why boys are so drawn to these things. Huh? What's the matter? Didn't you want to see it? Uh, yeah. Thanks. When he was little, Oscar was always running around the woods collecting bugs. He'd get so into it, it was never long before he'd trip and hurt himself. Did you grab bugs for him? Yes, I thought they were gross. But I was much taller than him, and I had the reach. Once, he gave me a whole pile of cicada shells as his way of thanking me. I just screamed. I'm sure he just wanted you to know how he felt. I can relate to that. Rather unusual for a Moloch like you to contemplate such things. Well, I try to. It's just really hard sometimes. It's hard for people too. Sometimes it feels insurmountable. And yet we can't give up. Sometimes you just have to say what you believe in your heart. Even if you're not good at saying it. What I believe. V, hurry up already! 